like this. Uh, this video will teach you how to use these buttons down here at the bottom. So uh, your song registry and your user settings for quick access to your favorite sounds. To make it easier to switch between two instruments that you prefer for one song, you can program the different instruments into these. And uh, you actually have eight different ones. When you very first press it, it'll go to bank one. You have eight different banks to, to save two instruments to. So let's say I want to get a voice here, and I want an uh, organ. Got my organ, and then I would hold memory down, and then want my first one on whatever bank I want. In this case, let's see, I'm going to save to bank number seven. And I want my first instrument, this is organ, so hold memory, and one. And when I press them together, it says writing. So now, any time I'm on bank number seven, and I press one, it'll go to this organ. But two, two doesn't have anything yet, so we'll pick another instrument. Let's see, voice. Let's see, now I'll get an accordion. Okay, now I'll make my second one. I'll hold it and press two. And it's writing now. So now, when I press 1, I'll have my organ. When I press 2, I'll have my accordion. So you can record up to five songs on here using your song memory. And each song will have five different parts and also an accompany part. And those will be stored when you press song. They'll be stored in the back of your songs. You'll see user 1 through 5. And I've already started in on recording some of them, so I've got some stuff saved in there. And so I'm going to show you how to record that. So I'll record onto user 5 because I know user 5 is available right now. Alright, so now that i got everything set up the way I want, i got the right style picked out, i got my instruments programmed into my memory that I want to use, and go ahead and uh, start recording. So what I'll do is I'll hold record, and I'm going to go ahead and you know first record on the first track because it's still available. Everything's open right now. So I'll hold record and one, and when I press them together, ask me which user do I want to record to. I'm recording on five. And then I have, you can see it's blinking, that means my sync start is on, so I should just be able to pick my key and go. And there we go. Switch to my accordion. says writing. Now, when it says writing, if you turn it off while it's saying that, it'll actually wipe out everything you've recorded. So if you want to clear out everything, say you have five tracks you're sick of or you've transferred, while it's writing anything, turn it off and it'll clear everything. Or if you don't, you know, hey, don't turn it know. off. Second part to that song, what I would do then, I know I'm on, uh, the first one's not available, so I'm on the second track, so I'll hit record in two. And you can do these in any order. You could even start at the back. It wouldn't matter. You don't have to do them one, then two, then three, then four. And now it's asking me, now that I've hit one, record part two, it's asking do I want to do it on user two. And you can see here in the corner which parts are used. Part two is blinking because that's what I'm about to record on to. And you can see part one is, well, all you, all you can see is that dot. But part one, it's solid. And it's uh, doing that because it's been recorded on. And when you're when you're doing playback on these tracks, you can turn those parts on and off. Okay, so now that I've hit that, it's ready to start recording, so I'll just hit play, and it's going to start the music. But it's recording everything that I play right here. actually hit stop so hit stop now it's writing I don't think it would save that blank at the end though even so so now you would have parts one and two and now let's go ahead and go to a song and I'll show you in this playback 
I'd save that into user 5, so when I press play on user 5, it's going to play all that. But I can turn my parts on and off here. See, so playing it. Now they're on and off. Just by pressing these buttons here. Track 1's gone. All you hear is my horrible bass. Now the horrible bass is gone. That's how that works. Subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash James Wardo, and be sure to like me on Facebook. That's gangster.